Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the second part of the lesson called Treasures. It is based on a storybook of the same name, which is a part of our curriculum. If you want to see the first part, please click on the link above and watch it. In the first part, uh, my students explored four rooms solved a few puzzles to get a key which unlocked each room. In today's lesson, they're going to explore four uh, remaining rooms, solve a few puzzles and get to the treasure. It's quite an exciting class and the students loved it. Uh, I want to make a quick note that it's not a typical class for me because normally I build my class around a short story or a video and then we do a lot of exercises to analyze text and also I involve uh, my students in dialogue practice more. This lesson, the one you're going to see today, is more about building rapport with your students and also it's more of on a fun site because um, how can you do a treasure hunt without leaving a classroom? So this is how, this is one of the ways of doing it. Before you watch uh, the video, I'd like to give a shout out to my patron Martina. Thank you very much for your support. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never ever miss a single upload. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Well, hello everyone! <laughs> How are you today on this super hot day? How are you? I feel bad. Why bad? It's cold. Somebody's talking. It was very hot. Yes, because and it is very hot today. It is about 18 degrees. Yes. Go bananas. Yes, we'll go bananas. Well, right now it is 30 degrees above zero. It is very hot. Yes, thank you. How are you? I'm tired and excited because I'm tired because it's too hot. I'm excited because they have we have a, uh, we have a music class. Excellent. Thank you very much. Well done. Okay, look. So, my helper, can you please tell me how many stars boys and girls have? I split my class into three teams, boys, girls and teacher Val. Each team gets five points. Teams are rewarded with points for positive behavior and correct answers. If the students in a team misbehave, I remove a point and give it to myself so everyone can see how many points they lost. At the end of the class, the winning team gets a star. At the end of the term, I count the stars and the team with the most stars gets five extra points for their final exam score. It is a great classroom management tool that keeps my students motivated to participate and try hard. Yes, that's why you need to be careful when you choose 
uh, the key. Wait a moment. So what do you think we should do now? What, what do you think we should do? Yes. Read the book and look at the tree. Yes. We should read the book and we should take a look at the pictures. That's right. So are you ready? Yes! Listen. So his full name is 
Pablo, Diego, José Francisco, De Paulo, Juan de Pomoteno, María de los Remedios, Cipriano de la Santísima, Trinidad Martín Patricio, Clito Ruiz y Picasso. Picasso is his last name, and there are many names in the middle. Well, middle names. Middle names, yes. All right, next one. Vincent Van Gogh. 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 So Van Gogh was a Dutch artist. Dutch. Yeah, Dutch means Netherlands. It's an adjective. Look at his famous painting. What is it called? Sunflowers. It is bright, it is yellow, it is beautiful. Yes. Okay. And finally, the last artist today, Elizabeth V.G. Labrun. But we will say this name. V.G. Labrun. V.G. Labrun. V.G. Labrun. She was a French. French artist. And who did you like to paint? Who did you like to paint? Tell me, please. Uh, Eva, who did you like to paint? Queen. She liked. She liked to paint the queen of France. France. Thank you very much. Yes, she liked to paint her, the queen of France. Yeah. How to read the toilet? Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. It's a French name. Do you think Elizabeth was a beautiful lady? Yes. Yes, yes, I think so. She was a very beautiful lady. All right, and now, which key do you think we should which choose? What? What? Raise your hand and tell me which key do you think we should choose. Remember the painting. Yes. I think it's two. We, I think we should choose. I think we should choose two. Key number. Uh, key number two. Key number two. Why? Uh, because uh, there's a painting whose name is Sunflower. Yes, yes, he is absolutely right. Well done, well done. Everybody, please read. Do it, do. Right, you see, there is a key in the shape of a sunflower. So, congratulations, you solved the puzzle, and we are ready to go to the next room. Teacher, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's, yes.
Password. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay, so now look. Listen, listen, listen. What is the password? Listen to me so you don't make any mistake. The password is four numbers. You need to give me four numbers. You can only try three times. If you make a mistake, the door will be locked forever. So look, the first two numbers, the first two numbers is how many squares? It's the number of squares. You see? This is square. One, two, three, four. You need to tell me how many squares. And the second number, the second two numbers, is the number of triangles. You understand? So, please count. Raise your hands and give me the Give me the number. This is the last question. Yes, so it's fun. It's easy to me. Who can do it? Wait, wait. Yes. Why don't you try? Yes. One, 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 six. Okay, so one, 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 six. Let's, let's give it a try. No. All right. No. One, one. This is correct. But these two numbers are wrong. So, one one is okay. One one? one. Yeah, because, yes, because see, look, look, let's take a look at the squares. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are eleven squares. How many triangles? Okay? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. One, one, two, let's four. Let's try. One, one, two, four. Let's try. One, one, two, four. Let's see. Did you get it right? Yes. Two. Yes. Four. Did you get it right? Yes. Yes. Oh. Excellent, Eva. Well done. Two points for the girl. And this is correct. Yes. The password is one, one, two, four. Everybody read. Peter. Francis. The door opens and you get to go to another room. What about the Be quiet. 
Can you read this in Chinese for me, please? In English, it is the Sphinx. Together, Sphinx. 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 Yes. Now, where is the Sphinx? What country is the Sphinx in? Yes. Egypt. Yes, the Sphinx is in Egypt. Is the Sphinx a um, man or a woman? It's a statue. But is it a male or a female? A, a man. A male. Female. female. Yes. What? Yes, it is a woman. <laughs> what kind of body does it have? Please? Lion's body. It has a lion's body. A, lion's body. a snake's tail and a woman's hat. Yes. That's right. And yeah, the Sphinx is a she. She's a woman. Now the story, a very old story, says that she sat at the door of the ancient city of Thebes to guard it. Now what does the word guard mean? Woman together. Say it together. Guard. 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 How do you say it in Chinese? Yeah. Look at this big guy. This big guy is a bodyguard. It looks like uh, Mark Hansen. Oh, yeah. Listen, he is a bodyguard. His job is to guard and protect the queen. You see? This is she, the queen? Yes. This is the queen of England. So he guards and protects her. Right? So look, back to our story. The Sphinx used to guard the ancient city of Thebes. Let's keep reading. Everybody read. Go to into go the go. city people and to answer the Sphinx's question. If the coin arrives, they will go into the city. If, if they, they call it wrong, she ate them. Right? So wait a moment. Now, can you answer the Sphinx's question? Yes, yes. Wait, wait, you don't even know the question. The correct answer will get you the key to the seven group. Now, look, the correct answer is three letters. What? This, the correct answer is three letters. So now, <coughs> <coughs> Let's read the question. <coughs> Look, which living thing goes on four feet in the morning, two feet in the afternoon, and three feet in the evening? Three letters. Who wants to try? Who wants to try? Uh, okay, we have one girl and we have one boy. Please stand up and go rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot! Okay, uh, girl swim, so what is it? Yeah, yes. yes, yes, she is absolutely right. Men, it has two meanings. One is naren, and one is human being. All the people, yeah? We can say, for example, man has walked on the moon, which means humanity, human beings. Yes. So, uh, she is right, girls get to boys. So look, why? In the morning, when you are a baby, you crawl on your four feet. In the afternoon, or when you grow up, you walk on your two feet. And in the evening, at the end of your life, when you grow old, you walk with a cane. And yes, you um, walk on three feet. Human being. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, Dawson. That's right, that's right. Human being. Okay, thank you. So, everybody, please read. Yeah. Thinks is real. So, now you have one more puzzle to solve, and then we get to see the treasure. Let's go to room. Number seven. Yes. Welcome to the Number seven. Let's see. Last puzzle. Everybody read. The city of Islam 
there is a pin code door lock. So here, the, the uh, it's not the key, it's the password. Can you tell me what the password is? Can you tell me? It's 12. 12. 5. Oh, oh, 12. Oh, 5. Let's, let's try. So let's try. What is the password? 1205. Incorrect password. Please try again. So wait. Let's go back to the room and see what we missed. The, the password is the wrong. Mirror. The mirror! So what do we do? What do we do? Raise your hand. Axel, what do we do? Use the mirror. You use the mirror to see the time. Yes. So we should look at the clock in the mirror. Or should we look in the clock? I know. We should look 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 in the mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall. And my fear is on the moon. No. <laughs> no, he's right. We should look at the clock in the mirror. What? Who can tell me the password now? Yes, Eli. Just the sofa. No, no, no. That's it. We don't need the sofa. We need the clock. Look, you see? This is the time, 12.05. We'll look in the mirror and this is what we see. What is the password? Who can tell me the password? One, two, one, five. One, one, or what? One, two. One, two. No, 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 no one, two. One, one, five. One, one, one five, five. five, five. That's right. One, one, five, five. Correct. I'm going to give points to both teams. Excellent. Well done. Well done. You get to the treasure hole. Yes, well done. Finally, we are in the treasure room. La, 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 la. Welcome, Welcome to room number eight. eight. Yes, room number eight is the treasure room. Right? Okay. So now, I so mean, everybody please read. Maybe gold coins. Good. What do you think? Uh, maybe some magic thing. Maybe some magic. They can, uh, when they use the magic things, they can turn, turn the, uh, uh, turn let, let all the homework disappear. All right. Very good. Yes. Maybe there are some burgers. They can eat it. Yes. Maybe there's food. That's right. Maybe there was a TNT. Maybe it's a TNT. A bomb. Okay. No, it's not a. It's not. No, he has a All right. Or maybe there is one more treasure map with more eight rooms, which we do next week. I am joking. I am joking. No, not of course. Of course. So let's take a look. What is inside the box? They open the box and they find a note. And the note says, congratulations, you have got the chance to travel to Planet X. Oh, oh. So, the treasure is a ticket to go to Planet X and see Abby again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we go back to lesson one when we started traveling with you. Abby. All right, so look, this is the end of the story. And now I have a question. Did the children need any of these things? No. No, they didn't. So here is the lesson that we learned from the book. Everybody, please read. Sometimes all you need is your head and a few hands to help you. That's right. You see, we work together no, as one he team. Has used a Listen watch. to me. Okay. You're not listening to me. So again. We worked together, yes, as one team, 
and we solved all the puzzles. We went through all the rooms and we solved all the puzzles. If we were alone, we would not be able to do that. So remember, we are always strong when we are together. That's the lesson that we learned from the story. Okay, so now, answer the questions together. What is the title of this book? The title of this book is Shredders. Good. Uh, who are the characters? The characters are Sandy, Lily, and Peter. Good. What is the book about? It is about three children who are looking for Shredders. Yes. Okay. How many rooms are there in the house? There are eight rooms. Yes. Can you please sit nicely? That boy over there. That boy over there. Sit nicely, yes. All right, next one. Uh, what do they need to do to enter each room? They need to solve problems to get a key or get a password. password. To get a key or a password, yes. And what did you learn from this book? We learned that it is possible if you have them work together. That's right. So you did you? Friends. Yes. And yeah, have friends. Did you enjoy the story? Mm. Did you enjoy yes. treasures? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All great. And now, what we're gonna do now is copy this for your final exam. Copy, 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 copy. And today, girls win. Girls mm -hmm. win. They get one more star. Girls now have four stars. Boys have three. Mm -hmm.